Peace and love. Hope y'all having a great one today. I'm having myself a great day. I'm wishing you guys a healthy, happy, prosperous week. I want to give you guys some manifesting motivation today. When it comes to my own experience, when things are taking a while to occur, when it feels like my reality really isn't shifting the way I want to, it all comes down to discipline and consistency. I'm just not sticking to it the way I should be. We all want things instantly, right? We live in a world where there's a whole lot of stimulus at our fingertips. We all want instant gratification. We don't like working for things because in a lot of instances, we don't have to. And on top of that, we're conditioned to be see it to believe it type individuals. And so when it comes to the creation process, you have to understand that 99% of reality happens in unseen quantum dimensions. So we will often sabotage ourselves with doubt, fear, stress, worry, failing to realize that we're never going to see it. So there's no reason to do any of that. You just got to stay consistent. And it all comes down to faith. Faith is what will keep you consistent. Faith in that unseen vision. Understanding that imagination really is limitless. Every single thing prior to it being a carbon copy in this physical reality started in somebody's mind before anybody could see it in front of them or hold it in front of them. But if you can hold it in your mind, you can hold it in your hands. Shout out Bob Proctor. All of these different techniques, they work. Scripting works. Living in the end, thinking from the end, thinking as the person you want to be ahead of time. They all work. Affirmations, to a large extent, they work. Sleep reprogramming, it works. But we have to stay consistent. We can't give up after a week. And yet, when we watch these YouTubers talk about manifesting so confidently, it makes it seem like it's going to happen instantly, like it's going to be easy. Like it's gonna happen in 24 hours. And maybe I come off that way too. I promise, I'm not manifesting in an hour. I'm not manifesting in 24 hours. I'm not manifesting in a week a lot of times. Sure, a lot of people have it down quicker, but it's because they have a lot more faith than the average person. And they understand the way that this creation process even works on a quantum level. So you have to have faith, and that needs to be your driving factor for the consistency for the repetition that you're going to put in when it comes to these techniques. Repetition is what it takes to create a new belief. And a belief is essentially what will manifest whatever. Once your subconscious mind is programmed with a belief, it will replicate it into your reality without fail. 100% of the time. Law of attraction is a law. It's a law. So another thing is we have to take action. There's a couple different people such as Abraham Hicks. I love Abraham Hicks, but um, they, they often don't tell us, or they will tell us that there, there doesn't need to be a whole lot of action involved, that you need to wait till it feels good, that if it feels kind of complicated, don't do it. But you got to understand that action is essential when it comes to law of attraction. Without, a, without action, law of attraction would just be law of attur. <laughs> love a true you know what I'm saying like action is essential taking action towards your goals it doesn't have to be you know putting in 18 hours a day but it can be planting that seed in your mind and then watering it every single day through your thoughts your action and your words all three of those are important and all three of those are the formula for manifestation being that person ahead of time so I want to be a full-time YouTuber. I want to eventually be able to do this to the point where, um, you know, I have lots of people watching the channel. And if I want to do that, I have to live as that person. And that includes the action, right? If you want to be a multimillionaire, if you want your business to succeed, you can't just, you know, make your business, make your storefront, and then never attend to it, right? Never work on it, um, not fulfill the orders. It takes action. <laughs> you have to be that person ahead of time. So just remember that that is also important. And when you hear people say, okay, you don't have to do all this action. You don't have to do, um, you can sit on your couch. You can manifest from your couch. I've seen videos like that. 
you got to put in some action. And when it comes to the techniques that you hear about, wherever you've heard of them from, you have to stay consistent with it. That's pretty much it. Discipline and consistency and action. Make sure that you are doing that and you will see your reality start moving in the right direction. And like I said, we will always look for results. We will always look for, you know, pieces of our reality that are showing that we're moving in the right direction. And yeah, you will see some, but for the most part, 99% of this creation process happens in unseen quantum dimensions. You're not going to see your manifestation. You're not going to experience it until it slaps you right in the face and is your reality. So you have to maintain faith in that unseen, um, in that unseen vision, right? You have to work in harmony with your prayers. You have to continue to move forward, independent of what's happening around you, right? That is faith. That is literally the definition of faith, is believing in something unseen. And repetition in these techniques is what's going to allow whatever it is that you're focusing on to be instilled within your subconscious mind as a belief. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to remind y'all because a lot of times I get caught up worrying and it leads me to kind of get discouraged and you know stop doing the stuff that I'm supposed to be doing with the same consistency. So if you feel that way, if you kind of fall into that trap, know that you're not alone. Know that we've all been conditioned to kind of sabotage ourselves in this manner, but we can overcome it. You have to have faith in that vision. Just think how amazing it's gonna be when it finally happens. And know, you got, and know within yourself that it's possible. That's pretty much it. I'm wishing you guys all the best. Remember life is a gift. There's no stress and there's no pressure. Peace.